Right, hello everybody. Welcome to the first round matchup of um, Sprinter. From He qualified for the World Cup, one of the three DBBC qualifiers, uh, which is the Deutsche Blood Bowl League. Uh, community, actually, but league as well. And uh, Bud Tugley is actually an Xbox coach, Gnome Slayer, who qualified by winning the Champs Ladder Season 14 on Xbox. Um, Sprinter's gone Dark Elves. Bud Tugley has gone Necro. I quite actually like this Necro build, having three guard. Um, well, okay, I don't like the Necro build. I like three guard, but having block on neither wolf, I think, is horrible. Um, blitzing a guy you could have blocked is horrible. As well. um, okay. And, yeah, he, you know, he lacks block, doesn't he? He's only got, he's only got the one block in the team? Does he only have one white? Hmm. He's got two whites, both with guard. Okay, so he's, he's got... I like his whites. But I would have rather just had block on this guy and then block Mighty Blow on him and not had guard on the fleshy. Uh, or something like that, anyway. And uh, Sprinter... I'm surprised more people didn't take Dark Elves. I think they are a good a good choice for this. And I, I don't really like having the leader. I would have just gone more blodge. But he's only got three, only three dodge players. But he's got a few blocks, so. <laughs> there is a tackle wolf, yes, Johnny. There is a tackle wolf, but it's a bit crap, isn't it? <laughs> I would just rather have block. I, think, I, I definitely think on matchup, I like on on team builds, I favour I favour Sprinter. I'm not not a fan. I'm not a fan of Necro. I just think they don't get everything they need. Well, everything they want. Could still win the world. They could still win the World Cup. Anybody could. I mean, dwarves, dark dwarves, dark elves. I think maybe I should have gone dark elves because it does, it does let you play quite conservatively, doesn't it? Quite reliably with the uh, armor eight and the bludge. Maybe I made a mistake on woodies, but I just had to go with woodies just because, just because I'd qualified with woodies in two qualifiers. <laughs> Glorious! <laughs> Thank you very much, the bunny. A bit, a bit like combat bunny. The bunny! The bunny! Thank you very much, bunny. <laughs> glorious. Thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. And enjoy the glorious emotes. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not that. I'm not really a fan of the show hands. So, yeah, if you'd cut. If you swap the tackle wolf, ta swap tackle for block, and then cut the sure hands for block on the on the other wolf, yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? I would, I wouldn't mind a block sure hands ghoul just because it's super reliable against woodies, and woodies are like the worst matchup for everybody. He's getting to use his tackle wolf now though, um, a little bit. And I, I wouldn't have hated stacking block sure hands to start with. On, on the goo, but you know, I I don't know. I just don't. I really just don't like any necro. But there was no necro build that I thought this is this is better than wood elves, dark elves, or humans. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, that's why I went with it. You know, at the end of the day, that's why I went with wood elves because I did win. Well, I won the DBBC qualifier and finished third in Rebel, so with Wood Elves. So I thought, you know, I should go with Wood Elves, shouldn't I? It seemed like a, a good idea. Blood Bowl's coming home, <laughs> I believe. 
<laughs> I quite like the guy behind because if if something happens, he's got the scoring threat, hasn't he? I don't I don't hear that. Maybe I would have used a worse player. Oh, that's excellent. Thanks very much, the bunny. <laughs> I'll need it. I'll I'll need it. I mean, I think that's going to be the. Uh, I think that's going to be the biggest thing. I really do think the luckiest, the luckiest person will 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 win. Really, and that's going to be the biggest thing. Wow, gets a Kaz. Was it because of the mighty blow? No. But you know, morally, it was. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I would have done actually, Shawnee. Yeah, probably, probably. So yeah, I'm I'm not really. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Woodies have more power than. Woodies have more power than dark elves, but dark elves are kind of reliable, and kind of good. <laughs> the problem, <laughs> the problem with my chances, if I get through round one against dwarves, it's either a wood elf mirror. Or facing a piling on mighty blow, um, human team, and it's like I'm, <laughs> I'm not a fan of any of my <laughs> any of my matchups, really. <laughs> but you know, there's not many weak players at the World Cup, so you know, there's you know the the chances are you're going to be playing good coaches every round, and. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks, Bunny. Maybe, maybe, but you know that's it. You know, I think at this at this kind of level, no one's no one's bad. So once somebody isn't bad, then anybody can win, can't they? And it's going to come more down to luck, probably. Um, congratulations, Duke and TV. That's good. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Rest of development, yeah. And Ducky, yeah. yeah. But then Ornan might lose to Chuck Sue, might he? So, you know. He, like, that's the thing, although it looks like a good matchup for, for Ornan in the first round, you know, destroying Woodies with Pom. Um, especially Woodies without a tree. Um, it's not. Anyone can lose to Wood Elves. Whatever happens. Whatever happens, anybody can lose to Wood Elves in any single game. So. He doesn't he doesn't have the frenzy traps in which there, can't he? It's worked out alright for him. But the the cage is based, but obviously the guard protects it all anyway, so not not really a problem. Cheeky one dicer, can't re roll because he's only got two. He could maybe, uh... Could he, could he chain using Frenzy? I don't think so. He, he could have done. He could have put a guy in here. Yeah. And he could have chained using Frenzy or something, but, um, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> he just got a Kaz on a, on a ghoul anyway. I think he could have blocked this guy to there. And then blitz this guy. Would just been on a one of those. And then he could have chained him into there, but then there's guard there, so probably better to just play it safe the way he did. <laughs> yeah, I will be casting Ducky's match tonight. Yes, of course I will. Highlight of the round, I think. Me proxy versus Ducky. Um so Oh yeah, I should have said that neither Sprinter nor Bud Tugby have played much Champ Ladder. I guess they play in leagues mostly. So, you know, there's no real indication of, of uh, you know, Champ Ladder. There's no Champ Ladder performance to measure them by. But the, you can't read an awful lot into win rates anyway in Champ Ladder. It's just better than having nothing in. Better than having nothing. You can probably 
No, oh, a bit risky that, wasn't it? Just going for the straight up one in nine. Straight up one in nine and lose the game. Um, I think that was needlessly greedy. <laughs> I don't think this is a huge blitz here. Like, positionally. I don't think that was a huge blitz. I think I would have blitzed to blitz this guy to free him. Something. Oh, yes, extra arms, but doesn't read Xbox Day. Yeah, yes, very good with bar. But he hasn't. He also hasn't played on PC. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point with bar. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think if I had taken anything other than Wood Elves, I would have tried to stack against Wood Elves, basically, because I just think Wood Elves are the most terrifying opponent. So I would have I would have taken a Block Show Hands Girl, for example, or a Block Show Hands Thrower for humans, maybe. Or maybe not with humans, because the humans would have so much guard anyway. But like a Block Runner, stuff like that um, if on Dwarves. I think that's absolutely fair to stack against against wood elves because ev who cares if you're slightly better against all of the races that aren't wood elves because they're not wood elves <laughs> but yeah there's there's certainly there's certainly yeah that that's why i like just starting with a tackler and then you could always go more guard and more mighty blow depending but um you know i think i think wood elves are just such a force that i would I would tr probably try to build towards beating Woodies anyway. Um, hello, Brain on Slugs. I have not played my World Cup game. It is in three hours' time. Yes, I'd have preferred not draw them in round one as well, of course, with Bar. <laughs> it depends. It depends what you're picking, though, Sean. You know, it depends what you're picking. If you're tier two and you've got six skills, then it's all right. Um, there's some, like, you know, if you look at Undead, if you look at Undead, right, Undead, which is knee proxy, right, yeah, yeah, he did go quite, quite hard down the sideline, but he's also got to get forward, right, it's turn seven, he had to give himself a chance to score, where else could he have gone, you know, at the end of the day, he, he just, he just went where he could, he should have tried to move forward earlier, shouldn't he, um, what, he's, he's just pissed about a long time, and he hasn't really, just, you just haven't done anything, have you? Horrible to have to give up the surf here, but then he's looking at 4 4 3 to score, isn't he? And a GFI. Also, counter surf. Um, you get, if he, does, if he doesn't score, you get the counter surf. So it's not so bad giving up that surf. Yeah, yeah, the dwarves. I probably, I probably wouldn't have a block. I probably wouldn't sacrifice a guard for block. But yeah, it depends. It depends on what you, on what your things would be. Well, he's just made himself harder to score. That was clever, wasn't it? <laughs> he rolled a six points. Although he tried to stop the. Uh, the surf by doing that. <laughs> he also gave himself a... Oh no, it what, didn't make it harder. No, it didn't make him harder at all. It didn't make it harder. No, that was good. That was, that, that was, that was all he could do there. No, that was fine. And he did make it harder to get the surf, but... Ultimately... He was still going to get counter surf, wasn't he? No matter what he did there. He could maybe have double... Double or triple surfed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he just didn't get forward enough, did he? He was doing... I don't know, not enough. I mean, it is tough for agility three teams. Uh, and in Necro's case of, you know, movement four and agility two, it is hard for them to get forward against Dark Elves a lot of the time. Hard for anyone to score against Dark Elves a lot of the time. Huge, so that, that sort of really screwed it for him. He got the he got well the worst of that of that surf trade. His guy is his wolf got KO'd and didn't recover. 
and the other guys did. So, yeah, Necro outbashed by Dark Elves in that half, um, and looking looking very favourable for the Dark Elves now, isn't it? Um, yeah, guard is mass guard is good is good versus Woodies as well, but. You know, if you look at Need ne Proxy's team, th this is what I was thinking. Need Proxy's team against Ducky, right? He's undead, so straight away he's got a great team. And he's only really got one horrific matchup, which is... not It's not even horrific. He's got one scary matchup, which is what else. And his team, he's taken block on the ghoul, and he's taken tackle on one white, guard on the other, and he's taken guard on the mummy. Now the question is, is... Is the sure hands on the ghoul versus wood elves, you know, better than guard on the mummy and all the other games? And it's not, uh, it's not clear. It's it's just not clear. That's all. I'm not saying it's right. I didn't like this move here, um, just because he he got the bribe, so he's going for the foul. I get. Oh, he didn't get the bribe until after he'd set up. So he, he went for the easier one to hit because of the guard. And then and then once he got the bribe, he decided to foul. So it's a bit risky because you're sticking a lot of guys on a, sh on, a, on a stand firm guy. But it's understandable because he didn't know he was going to get the bribe when he did it. Yeah, BZL, you definitely need sure hand. Well, you definitely need, you definitely need block guard. I think block on the ghoul and tackle on the ghoul and guard on. Uh, sorry, block on the ghoul and tackle on the white and guard on the white are all necessary. I think those three are necessary. So I think the only one up for grabs is the guard on his mummy. And is guard on a mummy better versus all the races you should beat than block than block sure hands ghoul is versus woodies? And I'm I'm not sure. That's all I'm saying. I don't think it's obvious. Uh, short leagues with friends, I tend to go orcs, but, um, but I guess um, I have gone chorfs. Chorfs and orcs are the two ones that I've gone with the last time I've played with friends. Um, yeah. Undead versus buddies. Yeah, that's true, that's true. That's developed. But then if you bait the sideline. Then, then it just makes it easier for them. But, you know, Wood Elves can play conservatively as well, can't they? Um, so it's, you know, that's... The best way to beat Wood Elves um, is... <laughs> the best way to beat Wood Elves is to just get lucky and cast, cast the living shit out of them, isn't it? That's the best way to beat them. There's no doubt about that. What do I think of Sparta Code crashing out? Well, it's it's uploaded to YouTube, Traperis, so you can check it out. Booshanks. I don't know who says Booshanks. I've, I've just said it twice now in one day after having never said it in my life before. So. Yeah, it was a huge three-player swing with the KO recoveries, as Shawnee said. There's the there's the YouTube video of um, Sparta Code. Crashing out, um, yeah, he, he, he was he got pretty horrible dice, so it's not surprising he lost. You know, when when, when good coaches are playing good coaches, yeah, exactly. As Sean, he said he got unlucky in an even low TV matchup versus a good coach. That's that's it, isn't it? That's it. You know, mostly if someone's unlucky, they're gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, Pedro Jack, I am excited that I'm in the World Cup. Um, for the next couple of hours, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It is scary. But, do you know what I mean? Like, if the undead guy baits the sideline, you don't have to go for the sack, do you? Do you know what I mean? Obviously, he fouled there because he had the bribe and got sent off. 
and the bribe failed. So even there, when he was just getting back into it, he got a, he lost another guy. So three, six, nine players. No, three, six, eight players for the undead, and three, six, nine, ten for the dark elves. So um, looking pretty terrible. Uh, dark elves can do pretty much whatever they want at the moment. I haven't done a World Cup song yet, no, no. What kind of man counts by threes? I just think it's easier to see on a football pitch than threes. Yeah, yeah, I'm in kind of the same boat, Ducky. It just, it just feels like it's so easy to for the dice to rob you, isn't it? You know, that's that's the problem. I'm surprised that uh, but but ugly is never going for the stick stick fleshies onto the ball carrier. Out of a hundred percent, blitzed in and got two fleshies on the ball. And sure, he's only got a two plus out, but he might use a reroll. And you know, I guess you don't get your fleshies completely out of position. But, you know, if you can get them onto the guys without dodge, he hasn't got dodge, he hasn't got dodge. So uh, a fleshy in here would be great. Or you could have a fleshy in there as well. I'm just, I'm shocked that he never tried to get his fleshies into good spots. He just put them into, like, random places, didn't he? It is single elimination, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, Pedro. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, Ducky and Wolfpack, yeah. Yeah. Normally, coach skill is, is you know, a huge... Yeah, his defense is pretty weird. Is is um... Yeah, you know, not... Ducky versus random guy in Champs Ladder probably going to be decided by... by coach skill. But... If it's Ducky versus Knee Proxy, it's probably going to be decided by luck. But how many of those players in the qualifiers will look were, were, were Ducky look uh, Wolfbark? My record in the qualifiers was 11, 11 0 1 in the two that I won, and uh, I don't know what it was. I I, took, I gave up after like two games in the other one. So really, if we're being honest, it was. 11-1-2 was my record in the qualifiers. But, um... And the, and the loss was to... One of the losses was to Stringer Bell, who qualified. And the other loss was to Fiction, who didn't qualify. Um, yeah, there's going to be lots of bad play in the World Cup, just because people make mistakes, don't they? And the pressure gets to people. Um, yeah, there's absolutely going to be bad, bad play, yeah. There's lots of... Uh, there's lots of... There's basically three ways, isn't there? I read this, I don't know if it was about poker or what, or, or something, but I read... I read about something, and there's like, there's luck, obviously, and there's skill, which doesn't, like, vary, does it? But there's there's also play. It's like the skill, play, and luck. And while, you know, let's say, Knee Proxy and Ducky could be equally skilled, Ducky could play shit, and knee proxy could play great, or knee proxy knee proxy could play shit, and ducky could play great. You know, so it's yeah, exactly. You're not at your best all the time, exactly. So I didn't like this. I didn't like this play here, right? Because he he did the dodge um, with him, and then did the dodge with him to blitz. I would have, although it got an extra block doing it this way. Um, I would have dodged with him, so I'd have only had because he had to re-roll this. And it's not that bad because he's got three re-rolls. But um, I would have dodged with him, then you could have blitzed and then made the cage corner with that guy. But it worked out okay for him this way because he does get an extra block on a guard guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Wolfbag. You know, it's it's incredibly rare that. Well, I don't think there's ever a game where somebody couldn't have played better. And then there's also, yeah, the, well, I mean, the look, the draw you get, exactly, yeah. The, the draw's certainly a factor. 
So now he's finally going to stick a fleshy on the ball carrier. But only one, and he could have got both on the ball carrier, uh, making it harder to deal with. Yeah, people generally make a mistake and stuff. Yeah. People generally make mistakes every game. <laughs> Epiphany. One in nine. But it should be easy for the Dark Elves to like cage here, screen it, and then retreat the turn after. And then win one nil. Yeah, that, that's why England losing against Belgium was better. <laughs> you know? At the end of the day, England losing against Belgium in the group stages of the, of the real World Cup. Um, that, was the, that was the correct tactical decision to make. And I'm, I'm not saying that they chose to lose. I'm, I'm sure, like, obviously both teams played a kind of reserve team and both teams played to win. But just choosing to lose that game was absolutely the best play because then you've only got to win win one game, you know, against against uh, well you'd have to beat what Croatia and France rather than Croatia, France and Brazil. So it was you know definitely the draw is. The draw, <laughs> yeah, that's true, Pedro. But you know people were saying talking about taking a tactical loss on purpose and it, it wasn't a tactical loss on purpose it wasn't a tactical loss they definitely got beaten fair and square both games but it would have been the best decision to have made a tactical a tactical loss would have been the correct call but I don't expect anybody in football to play optimally you just you just can't get any pressure on here can he should have maybe re-rolled that push because with with it not getting a not getting a power, he can't even get anybody in to even vaguely make it hard for him. He can't base any of these three. So he doesn't need to make any rolls to get the ball safe, doesn't even re-roll that. So the ball's safe, even if he you know, without without dice rolls the ball is still safe. So it's over now for what will do. Yeah, yeah. I know Piffany, I I did say that both teams rested players. So neither team really tried their hardest to win, but also, but also the the correct thing to do was just purposefully lose, wasn't it? If Belgium, if Belgium had purposefully lost that game, maybe they could have beaten France. Um, you know, in one game, I know, I know they, <laughs> I know they lost to France when they played them, but they'd already beaten Brazil, haven't they? So do you know what I mean? It would have been easier to only beat Brazil and Croatia rather than to beat Brazil and Croatia and France as they would have had to have done. Yeah, and, and now he just can't do anything, can he? Yeah, but ugly. Gnome Slayer from the Xbox. He's just got to go for a 5 plus, 6 plus uphill. Saves his reroll for the one turn. He does have a chance of the one turn, but obviously low chance with only movement 8 and agility 3. <laughs> Arrested development. Yes, probably knocks the destroyer, yeah. Yeah. Not easy, no. You know, I, 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 I tried streaming on console one time, knocks the destroyer, and uh, I looked for a game for like an hour or something before I got one. So this is a really weird setup. 
it's not stopping a one turn really at all and it's also I guess he's set up for the riot but by not setting up to stop the one turn at all he's made the one turn on hasn't he because this is a potentially a zero dodges one turn now he sets up wrongly here for the one turn but but ugly because uh he shouldn't really be hitting with this the frenzy player here um with the players that he's got you could argue that he should have made the first hits with a werewolf here then he could have done it with just blocks give himself an extra chances and stuff Yeah, he gets the push, but see, here's the problem. He thought for ages here. The problem is, he's got a dodge to get this guy around, and it was just he didn't. He wouldn't have had to have dodged if he if he blocked here without. Uh, if he blocked there without frenzy, he could have made the first block forward, and then moved that guy be around. So he ended up having to make a. Uh, he ended up having to make a flesh goal and dodge there. But he's got his wolf in scoring range. He made the dodge. He still got the reroll. Sure hands for the pickup. And he probably should have GFI'd again because he's left an interception on. And he could have intercepted on a 5 plus with a lineman. And instead went for the 6 plus intercept and got it. So, um, yeah, there you go. That was, <laughs> that was something else. Um, you know, even armor breaks. To be fair, the, the Necro aren't that rowdy. They've only got 3 guard and his, his werewolves didn't have block. So he... He couldn't have expected to outbash him too much. He did make a lot more blocks, um, but actually ended up being outbashed. So he, he was he was a touch unlucky, was but ugly. But um, congrats to congrats, congrats to Sprinter, and uh, so the DBBC representative there moves on. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.